say we're going to simplify or reduce 75 over 100. So we're going to want to find the biggest thing that divides both into our numerator and denominator. So for instance, say we take 75, divide that by itself, 75. That equals 1. So that reduces it, right? That reduces our numerator. But if we try that on our denominator, that doesn't work. That doesn't give us anything nice. But some of you might be able to immediately see that 25 will work, right? Because 25 goes into both 75 and 100, so sure. If you're bright like that, you'll see that 75 divided by 25, that equals 3, and 100 divided by 25, that equals 4. So that's the most reduced our fraction can get. But if you couldn't see that immediately, and some of you might not be able to, it all really comes with experience, then we can talk about it in a different way. Why is this eraser so, so small? Let's see if I can do this another way. Just ignore this, right? So, we have our 75 over 100. Well, we know that anything with a 5 or a 0 in it is going to be in the 1's uh, place right here. is going to be divisible by 5. So what is 75 divided by 5? Well, I don't know really off the top of my head, but quick calculation shows us that it equals 15 and 100 divided by 5 I do know equals 20 so now we have something partially reduced but not all the way reduced so how do we reduce this further well same scenario as before we see a 5 and a 0 so we can just divide by 5 once again and we'll get Fifteen divided by five equals three, and twenty divided by five, which equals four. And that is the most reduced we can go from seventy-five over hundred to three.